Hello everybody, it's Zach here from realestatelicensewizard.com. How is it going today? Hopefully pretty well. Today we are going over another real estate math practice question. If you're new here in this series, we cover real estate math questions that are likely to show up on the real estate exam. If you want to try real estate math questions out yourself, as well as regular real estate exam questions, check out our website, realestatelicensewizard.com. Now this series is amazing for anyone preparing for their real estate exam, so make sure to click that like button and subscribe, that way you're fully prepared come exam day. Anyways, without further ado, let's jump right into it. So this week we're talking about interest rate problems and we're going to continue that trend today. So let's take a look at our question. So the question says, what is the interest rate on a $200,000 loan that requires an annual interest payment of $8,000? And it gives us four options. So like usual, I'm going to give you guys some time here, some opportunity to bust out the problem, pause if you need to. So go ahead and do that right now. Alrighty, so hopefully you guys came with your answer. If you need more time, feel free to pause. No biggie. So what is our answer for this one and how did we get it? Well, our correct answer for this one is going to be 4%. That's right, A. It is A. So how did we do this? Well, this problem is just like the one yesterday. Uh, basically what you have to do is figure out what the question's asking, obviously, and it is looking at the interest rate. We're looking we're looking at what is the interest rate. We're trying to find that. And how do we do that? We're going to be using these two numbers here, this $8,000 and this $200,000. We're going to be using our formula, which again is annual interest divided by the loan amount, which equals the interest rate. So when we plug that in our nifty difty formula, it's going to look like this. It's going to be this $8,000 divided by $200,000. And again, that is going to give us 4% or 0 0.04. So with these problems, again, they're pretty straightforward. Uh, you, you just can't get confused with the order in which you're dividing or if you're dividing and multiplying. And as you guys are probably picking up on this stuff, um, now that we're almost 30 questions in, uh, what normally trips people up, and I'll, and I'll give you guys this little tidbit just so you know, what normally trips people up on the math problems in the exam is just forgetting to multiply or divide, or I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, mixing it up. Um, so what happens is, you know, you're doing all these problems, you're going through the math, you know, you're, you're busting out math problems here and there, and then you just think, oh, well, I have to multiply here when you were supposed to divide. And, you know, sometimes it's more obvious um, then other times, like if you did this problem and you did multiply, you would clearly see that, oh, well, none of these answers are available or even, oh, look, that wouldn't make any sense. How would an interest rate be, you know, like super high like that? Um, but, you know, in, in other problems, it's not as clear. And sometimes they sneak some things in there to make things a little bit more confusing. Uh, so just keep that in mind. And it's always a good idea to kind of write these formulas and these things down in some sort of organized manner. That way you can remember, okay, with these problems, I need to divide or with these problems, I need to multiply or maybe do both or add, subtract, whatever it might be. So just keep that in mind uh, in the future as well, because that's some really good advice. And, you know, I, I tell that to a lot of people and that seems to help them when it comes to this math. But yeah, that's going to be pretty much it for me today. We're going to stick with these interest rate problems this week. We have a different type of problem tomorrow, so stay tuned for that. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Like, comment, all that good stuff if you enjoyed. All right, guys, see you next time. Make today magical.